So, did you know that suffering is optional? Entirely optional. It's not a necessary part of life. And that we only suffer because we are making decisions that aren't in alignment with who we really are. Not who we think we are, but who we really are. And the interesting thing is, we weren't born this way. You were born exactly as you are. But from a life of living as you're not, in a world spinning, in a way that just doesn't quite make sense. And so in trying to make sense of it all, this mind drives itself bonkers. Because if this mind thinks it's responsible for something, anything at all, then suddenly there's a lack of integrity. There is a lack of true beingness in the sense that no longer am I just telling you the truth because my mind has a vested interest in that truth. And if I share it all with you, then, oh, who knows? I might not have any left for me. Does that make sense? Not to me, it doesn't. Not to the mind. Because I'm aware of my design. You see, out of so many possibilities, I am. And you are too. But the thing is, we have been living in this world spinning like crazy. Acting like we're something that we're not. And because of these decisions being made over time, incorrectly, we have found ourselves looking left when we should have looked right moving forward when we should have taken a step back. And day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, we found ourselves in a certain place, a certain point in the space-time of eternity. And we've never been here before. We never will be here again. And going forward, we have this potential in this one moment, right now, to make decisions correctly. This entire process is down to formula. Where and when were you born? This location in space-time gives you a karmic imprint. It gives you a body. It gives you a personality. And if you can surrender to that, there is no such thing as suffering. You see, just a little while ago, I was sitting in this very car parked in some other lot, listening to really sad music, just emotionally powerful music, bawling my eyes out, because I had just recognized how my ex and I are just that. We're no longer together. And I was recognizing that. And I was just, oh, distraught and bawling, and physically on the surface, it looks terrible going through a real moment. But within, within myself, 
is a deep, deep appreciation for that sublime, bittersweet experience. You see, my body has three defined motors all there at the bottom, the spleen, the root, and the solar. All motors defined, pushing in all these different ways. My apologies, I misspoke. The root, not as a motor, but the sacral as the motor. Technicalities, you see the funny thing? My mind pays attention to everything. My actual brain, because of my design imprint, the 9.7 design, my body pays attention to everything. My brain pays attention to all the details of everything. That's the nine. But the point three, that point three is called the camel that broke. <laughs> it's called the straw that broke the camel's back, you see? And so it's like my brain has this awareness for all the details. Like I see everything. But I don't have the capacity to keep up with all that. There's a lot going on, you know? I can see it. But there's so many details. Sometimes I might say the wrong word, you know? I mean, and it's no big deal. Being able to accept and witness that as part of my design gives me freedom. I recognize my mind is not responsible for this. Like, I am not really involved in the conversation that's happening. I'm witnessing myself converse to you through this. But I'm not deciding what I say moment to moment. I'm witnessing the words happen through the definition within me. This throat is defined and it has something to say. It's connected to the spleen, connected to the channel of the wavelength. This is the very wavelength of energy itself and it's communicating directly out from the unknown itself. It's the 48, this, this abyss, this well of knowledge, unknown. You can find a well and you know the little water pail? You string it down and the well goes underneath and you lift it back up. You can get some water and you know you might find some surprising things that have fell down the well or something. You never know what's down there in the unknown because this goes into the metaphorical, metaphysical sense of reality. It is not only the unknown to the brain, but we're tapping into a truth that takes over. There's no more choices being made and there's no need to make choices because I'm not responsible for anything. I am able to respond to anything. I'm a generator after all. I've got a defined sacral. The sacral has a response to any and every situation that leads to success. That is what the sacral can do. Every generator has that. And I just surrender to it. And I don't experience suffering. And neither do you. If you would like to not experience suffering, if you would like relief from the challenges in your life, feel free to reach out. Because I don't know everything. I don't know Jack. I knew him back in high school, but it's been a long time, you know? So, the thing is, I don't know this stuff. I don't need to know. All I know is my strategy and authority. And I can pass that on to you. It's a very easy process. We look at a chart, you witness a strategy and an authority. Because you have a type. You, right here listening to this, are either a generator, is the most common of all, a projector, a manifester, or a reflector. One of those four things your vehicle, your body, has an aura that functions in one of those four ways. 70% or so of the world generators. Maybe 20% projectors. Is that maybe 8% 8, 8 or so manifestors? Is 2% reflectors or so? One of those you fit in there. That'll give you a strategy. We look at a chart, we see your chakras, we find out what's defined, what isn't defined. You can see the ways in which your mind pulls you away from your true nature. 
my three undefined centers begins with the crown, the head. This means that my mind sometimes thinks about things that don't matter to me. And I can get caught up thinking about things that don't matter to me. Most of us, most human beings, I think it's like 70%, maybe even more, have an undefined head. So that's pretty common. Another common one is the undefined eye, the ajna. If you have an undefined ajna, you are prone to be pretending to be certain about things, even when you're not. It's fairly common too. And last but not least, my G center is undefined, which is what I find very helpful with this golden ong right here, giving some good direction to my soul. Because when you look at the G center, this is the seat of identity. This is where we actually sit. The magnetic monopole resides within the G center, and this is the actual driver of the vehicle of your body. You see the design crystal, this is who you think you are. This actually resides above the head, watching from above. The design crystal rests in the third eye, just doing its work from the command center. And then right here in the G center is the magnetic monopole, which holds us together in the illusion of our separateness. And along this illusion of separateness, the magnetic monopole carries us along our geometry, our fractal line. And when you're operating correctly, you're at the right place, boom, 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 at the right time. And so, yeah, as always, hope you're doing well. Feel free to reach out. Peace and love. Home.